Welcome everybody to an InterNACHI webinar. My name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. We're the world's largest organization of residential and commercial property inspectors, and we're doing a webinar today on effortless blogging for home inspectors. So let me share my screen so we can get to it. So in this free online live interactive webinar, um, we're going to learn how to create and write a blog for your home inspection business without any major effort, really. It's pretty easy to do. Um, as soon as you learn where to get the information from. So what we're going to do is go over these topics. Why write a blog? And I'm going to show you a, an example of a home inspector, me, uh, who has a website with a blog. And we're going to answer the question, why should I, wh what should I post? And where do I get that information? And then we're going to actually write a blog. I'll show you how to do it. We'll write one right now. Do it together. And it's in just a few minutes. And then where do you go to get a website design company that supports your efforts to write a blog effortlessly? So why write a blog? Well, it's all about a thing called content marketing. It's your marketing strategy that includes you creating content that people find valuable. And when you share that content, you're doing two things. You're showing your passion for inspecting homes and buildings because you just love it. And you're adding value. So always do something with those two things in mind. Show your passion for it. Have fun. Show how interested you are in this roof leak or something, and then add value to the conversation. How do you prevent someone from having a, um, a roof leak, for example? Okay. But content marketing, there's, there's um, a few reasons why you write a blog. One, you want to drive conversions. Two, driving conversions means that you want to overwhelm your clients with value propositions and information so that you can increase the number of scheduled jobs. People visit your website and they get information and they realize that you're the local authority and that, that gives you credibility and they trust you because of all this great information that you're providing through your blog and then they decide. It makes it easier for them to make that decision to hire you and it drives conversions. It contributes to social media efforts you should be on social media somewhere posting great things, and it helps you do that. You can, you can grab some information from your blog, just a little snippet, or have it keep in mind. And you know, whenever you write something or do a post on social media, it should be supporting the services that you provide in your company. And it also builds trust. It helps your client trust you. If you're new, that's the one thing you need to work on is to gain that trust. And when you publish information that shows that you're passionate about your uh, inspection job business and it, it adds value, then people start to um, develop a relationship with you. And when they like you because of what you contribute, um, they start to trust you. It reinforces your brand. So you can talk about things specifically in great detail or maybe just short little snippets that help reinforce why you're special and why you should be hired. It differentiates you from your competition. Your blog can help you distinguish yourself from all the rest, that's for sure. And it encourages engagement. People are engaged with information that they find valuable. Now, we're also going to take a look at Big Ben Inspections, because I have a blog there. And we're going to talk about what you should post, where do you get that information, how to write a blog. We're going to write a blog in this little webinar here. And we're going to take a look at where do you find a website design company that supports your efforts. And that's at nachi.org slash website. Okay. So got a lot to talk about. Feel free to chat. Feel free to ask questions. If you have a question, feel free to ask it and I'll try to get to it. So thanks for coming to Effortless Blogging for Home Inspector Websites. It's a free live webinar with InterNACHI. Okay. So. Let me show you my website. This is bigbeninspections.com. If you want to visit right now, go to bigbeninspections.com. Um, I don't do home inspections for clients, but I still do home inspections. I still do a lot of home inspections. I've been a home inspector since I was 
mid twenties. So that's been a while. Um, 1994, three, something like that. Well, this is my website. It's called Big Ben Inspections. The logo was designed by InterNACHI's marketing team. The website was designed by InterNACHI's official vendor for website designs. That's at natchiorg slash website. And on my website, you can see at the top, there's a blog button. You click that button and here's my blog. And every once in a while, I've been writing. I've been writing these blog articles just for a little bit. And the blogs are kind of cool because you could see that this one, this primary responsibility article is kind of popular. I have 11 views, <laughs> right? So I'm not really marketing out to clients. I'm not marketing to real estate agents. So hardly anybody is reading my blog. That would be different for you because you would write a blog and then use it as part of your marketing strategy. You would email people, send people messages, text them, and invite them to information that you think would be valuable for them, all right? So you want to have them engage with you. Open people up to what you provide on your website. So your website really needs to be designed to support these efforts. If you write an amazing blog and your website sucks, it's not going to work. Those two have to be designed well. Okay. So here's this one. Uh, people can view it. People can make comments, as you can see. People can heart it. Um, and then if we open it up, it looks like this. So this is, there are many different ways your blog can appear. It, it shows up really well on a mobile device. Um, and you can give little links to repost or share. And there's some related articles here. It's really nice. The primary responsibility. Oh, the home maintenance is a primary responsibility of every homeowner. And so that is a piece of information that I want to share with all of my clients. So that's how it kind of looks. Let's see if I can take this. And let me show you where you, you get this information. So where do you get information about roof slope or roof covering materials or infrared or roof inspections or, day, or any roof can leak? That's a really good one to show that, to show your clients to share with your clients that any roof can leak, even a roof can leak, even right after your home inspection, right? And who's responsible for it? That's the other blog. The, the responsibility falls on the homeowner, not the home inspector. So any information that helps you reduce liability, helps you educate your clients about what a home inspection is and what it isn't, it's not a guarantee that your roof is going to last forever without leaks. Every roof can leak. So maybe you should write a blog, right? that any roof can leak and explain that to homeowners. Okay, so we over, went over why you should do a blog. We saw Big Ben Inspections, that has a blog. Now, how do you get that inf information? What should you post? Well, let's go to natchi.org, any natchi.org page, natchi.org, click the Get Started page, go down to Training and Education. This is our education page. Now, what I encourage you to do is grab information from a particular course. Every chapter of the course is a really nice chunk of information about how a home works, how to maintain it, and how to save home energy. Those topics are really great for a home inspector block. So use that information from InterNACHI as the resource so that you can effortlessly blog you have information available to you. We also have articles. So if you go to, I'm gonna go there directly, Natchi, I'll type the URL, natchi.org slash articles. We have an inspection library, a library of inspection articles. And there's a, a link there for consumer articles. The top article here is 10 easy ways to save energy in your home. This is a fantastic article that you can copy and paste. You have permission from InterNACHI to use these articles and resources in, for information that can supply your blog, okay? You grab that information from InterNACHI and put it in your blog. You have that permission if you are an InterNACHI member and you give InterNACHI credit by saying, permission granted by InterNACHI, 
and then have a natchi.org link from your website, from your blog article to natchi.org. Those are the conditions. Feel free. If you're an InterNACHI member, if you're not an InterNACHI member, you're not permitted. If you're an InterNACHI member, grab information from InterNACHI and use it for writing your blog. Because a lot of home inspectors, we're busy. Can't think, sit down, you know, and think about what should we write about? How do you get 50, 100, 200 words out at night? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to write about. It's okay. This is why it's easy to write a blog for InterNACHI members. You use the library of inspection articles or a course. And I want to show you that course again. So go to our education page and in the search field, right? Type in introduction. You're going to search for a course called introduction to home inspections course. There it is there. Introduction to home inspections course. This course is all about teaching others inspectors and homeowners and real estate agents, how a home works and how to maintain it. And also a little bit about how to save energy. Those are great topics. Also our inspection library of articles, right? I showed you that like 10 easy ways to save energy in your home. Okay. That's where you go. And that's what you should post. And that's how you give credit to InterNACHI. That's the one condition. You have to say that InterNACHI gave me permission to reproduce this information and put a link from your website blog Wherever you put that information, link it back to nachi.org, a live link. That's the requirement. And it's only for InterNACHI members. Okay, so let's write a blog. So I'm going to go into the Introduction to Home Inspections course. And there it is there. I'm going to take the free online course. I'm an InterNACHI member, so I have free online access to this course. I'm going to go down to the roof section. And there's a bunch of topics, right? Just under roof. There's also exterior property, the basement and foundation, heating and cooling, plumbing, electrical, fireplace, attic doors, all the water management, word about your home's energy, season maintenance, annual maintenance, healthy home inspection. There's so much information here. Um, 300,000 words, something like that. So it's like many years of information. I'm going to go down to um, roof slope. How about underlayment? Let's write a short blog post about underlayment. This is my resource. Now, how do I write a blog? Okay, I asked InterNACHI's official vendor for website designs, that's inspectorwebsitebuilder.com, um, to create a, a website for me. And they use Wix. And because I'm the owner of my website that they designed for me, I can go into my Wix account and um, create a blog if I wanted to. Or edit anything. If I didn't like the home page image here, if I want to switch it out because I'm much more handsome now, that was last year's picture, I can switch it out very easily or I can ask them to do it because I'm the owner. I go to my blog. There's a blog post. I'm now inside my Wix account that Internet Cheese a vendor for website designs created for me. And I'm going to write a blog. I can write a blog and publish it immediately. I can write 10 blog posts and po schedule them to be posted once a week. That's a really good idea. So you just sit down for about an hour, you know, hunker down and copy paste and write a bunch of blogs and schedule them out once a week. That's great. Let me show you how to do it. Create a new blog post right there. Create that button. I got to put in a catchy title. What's going to be my catchy title? Well, I go back to not the library article, I go back to the course. And it's gonna be underlayment, copy, paste. That's the title of my blog. Go back to the course, copy the text, go back into my blog in my Wix account, and I paste it. There's a little button here for an image. I love images. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type Oh, there should be underlayment installed. I don't like what Internet you wrote, let's say. There should be underlayment installed on most roofs that I inspect. And if it's, see, I could write anything I want in my blog. I can use Internet Cheese resources as like a starting point and then use my own words. And if it's readily visible, we'll take 
a look at the underlayment. Okay, I don't know, whatever you wanna write. Okay, uh, go back to the course. I like that picture. I'm gonna save the image, right? I don't, I don't know how you do it. You can take a screenshot and then upload it like that, or I'm gonna right click and save image as. I'm gonna save it on my desktop and I'm gonna say uh, uh, under layment one, right? So now I can find that image. Go back to my blog, add a picture. I click that little button. I'm gonna upload an image into my blog folder of images. I'm gonna find this picture on my desktop and it's underlayment. There it is. I like that picture. It's uploading very quickly. I'm gonna add it to the page. Bam. That's it. I wrote my blog with a nice picture. I copy paste it from Internet G's Introduction to Home Inspections course. It, it's probably 10 seconds of work. There's a couple things you want to do to make sure that this is SEO'd out. You want to confirm that there's things in your blog, like a display cover image. Now, this is going to be shown on social media posts, whenever you post it or text it. This is the image that travels with the blog, right? You could publish it now, or you can schedule to publish it. And you can add a description. So that image goes with the link that you share to people. Or if someone is um, uh, uh, registered to read your blog, they'll be automatically notified whenever you write a new blog, and that image will show up and a link to the blog, and also a short description. So you wanted a little short description, so I'm just going to copy paste my first sentence, paste it in there. Go to the SEO. Wix, uh, Wix is awesome because it allows um, website designers, if you hire them to manage your site, or um, uh, home inspectors to do a little SEO on their own. I can We can show you that later too. Um, there's the uh, URL slug, I like that, I like underlayment. So I have my URL, bigbeninspections.com slash post, because it's a blog post, underlayment, right? That looks really good. Here's the social share. So when I share it socially, this image goes with it. And also the description. Um, there's a little text that displays as it goes through. Awesome. A couple of other things you can do if you wanted to structure that data. But that's really advanced SEO. Wix does a ton of SEO automatically for you. Whenever you do something to your website, SEO is taken care of. So I, I click publish, or I could schedule it, right? I could schedule this post, or I could just save it as a draft and come back to it if I wanted to say more. So let's publish it. Boom, it's published. Let's go back to my Big Ben Inspections website. Go to the blog at the top. Love this website. And there it is. There's my blog called Underlayment. Oh, an enticing title, isn't it? <laughs> it's fun. So, hey, I don't know if a ton of people, potential clients are going to read about Underlayment. I don't think that's my primary goal here. My primary goal is to support my content marketing strategy. I have a strategy in my marketing. You have to have a strategy. And it has to be continuous, consistent, and scheduled. What are you doing today as part of your marketing? If you don't have a home inspection job, you're still working, right? Put on your work boots, put on your work clothes. You're still going to the office. Maybe it's a home office or a way office, and you're going to work on something. What are you going to work on? If, it's, if today is marketing, then do a little content marketing. Post something. And now you have something also to post on social media. You have the words. You have the picture. So you can post it on social media if you want. So now let me show you what I could do through Wix, actually. It's really cool. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard. Away, I'm gonna sit inside my website that Spectre Website Builder built me. And I'm, well, I'm, I'll show you the analytics. This is kind of cool. I wanna show you the last 90 days, how many people have visited my website. Well, right about here is where there's nothing going on, as you can see. And then there's a, a lot of nice visitors. Well, right here, that's where um, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com built my website. So then I started getting visitors. I can see, right? Why is this important? 
because if I'm going to write a blog and then I share that blog with all of my clients, right? I have to keep in touch with my clients or invite new potential clients to information they may find valuable. I want to see if that corresponds to the number of visitors or sessions, website visitors coming to my website. If I send it out, do people actually visit my website? If they don't, then my message going out is not really inviting. If they do visit, right, then I should also see my jobs going up. The number of scheduled jobs should go up too. If I don't, then there's something wrong with the conversion design on my website. It's all about analytics. If it's worth doing, it's worth measuring. If you're just going to write a blog, you're in, that's not the whole point. You have to write a blog for a reason. What is the reason? Content marketing. And there's other reasons that we went over, right? One of them that, that I really like is converting. Getting those people to come to you because you are a local authority. You look credible. And you have a lot of passion for what you do. And you're adding value. And they decide in that purchase decision window. They're deciding whether or not to hire you and they convert and they schedule a job with you. And you can measure that right there in your website. So you can also, what do you do for marketing? So maybe today is marketing day, right? Wix tells you what to do. You don't have to think. So here's your marketing homepage. Here's a recommended task. Create an email campaign, right? Send an email campaign and then here's how, right? Or maybe you want to connect with your social media, right? Here's... Um, Here's your marketing planner. You create and schedule marketing activities for yourself on a calendar. So today you can see, or there it is, Friday the 28th, I just published at 1018 an article, ah, content marketing day. Yesterday I did the same thing. I published a, uh, an article about sloped roof cover. The day before that could have been some, they suggest, Wix suggests what to do. You could do a little social media campaign. You could email something. Looks like on, on Saturday, I'll click it, see what's going on here. They suggest spreading the good vibes with a social media post and they have a template for you, right? So you inspire articles, uh, inspire, inspire people on your social media channel to um, take a little action, right? With this cool design. If you don't like that design, if you don't like the wording, you can edit that. And Wix will send that to your Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all in different sizes automatically, right? It's really cool, really cool. And they also do um, video as well. And one more thing, I know I'm getting off track, but this is kind of cool. Um, if, you want, if you have a website, right, designed to support your marketing efforts, you have to get found on Google. So if you click the Wix checklist for SEO, your website designer should do most of the tasks related to SEO, but Wix gives you a checklist as well. So step one, get your homepage ready for Google search. And here's all the things that you need to do. I did them. I made sure um, the website company that I have, inspectormedia.com, uh, sorry, uh, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com does all this stuff, right? So I've got all these check marks. Everything's good to go. You got to get your homepage ready for Google search. So I completed this task. My homepage title tag is now optimized, SEO optimized. I have at least one keyword. My business name is there. My business location is there. And the text length is in between 10 and 80 characters. The second one, do I have my task completed for my homepage description? It's now optimized. I have a keyword, I have my business site name, my text length between 50 and 300 characters. It goes on and on. I'd make sure that all of these are checked off. So maybe Saturday morning, you have a little SEO thing to do, right? In the morning, if you don't have a job, then you go to work from nine to 10, spend one hour on SEO, and you go over all of these tasks. It's very easy to do, actually. I'm not a smart fella, but I was able to get my website SEO'd all up. It's ready to roll. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I want to make your efforts on writing a blog very easy. I think every home inspector should have a great website 
and a great blog. And this is how you write blogs. This blog can also be used for other purposes like social media posts on Facebook, Instagram, uh, not really Twitter and LinkedIn. You can use my website as an example. You know what to post and you know where to get that information. And now you've seen me write a blog and just about, well, it was under a minute, several seconds, I had a blog up and it looked really nice. And here's where you get a great website, natchi.org slash website, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com. Inspectorwebsitebuilder.com is InterNACHI's official vendor for website designs for home inspectors. They're a great company, natchi.org. Let me take you there. Because if you're gonna do a, a blog, you better have a website designed really well to support all of that effort. So go to natchi.org slash website and inspector website builder.com is a great service. All right, let's see. Uh, any questions? Rainier, greetings from South Africa. Sean, do we have permission to use images from the internet? Yeah, all of them um, are, um, you have our permission to use those images. Do you have to pay Google for extra fees? No, like Google Business Profile is free. Um, Google uh, Business Console is free. Um, SEO tasks that you can complete, they're free. You know, there's a lot to do with SEO. Um, it goes on and on forever and ever, but the basics, the basic tasks, um, anybody could do, or you can hire a, a website design company to do them for you. And that's all free. Google wants you to run ads, right? Eventually they want you to run it. You'll see, you'll get a, an invite to run an ad. You can, if you wanted to, it's very expensive, but if you're going to, I have some recommendations before you run a Google ad, make sure you have everything in place because when you run an ad, you're inviting people to visit what? It better be really good. Better be something that is inviting, is incredibly overwhelming with value propositions. So you've got a lot of work to do before you start spending money on Google ads or Facebook ads, right? Got to get that online presence designed really well. Uh, what are the costs for Wix? Um, let's see. Inspector Website Builder, they charge $2.99 one, one time design fee and $16 a month. Um, the $16 a month, I believe, is paid directly to Wix. So you can get a, let's see, there's a, there's a domain that points to a website that you get designed and it rests on a platform. It rests on the internet. It's called hosting. Someone has to host that website, right? There's a domain that points to the website and that website then rests on the internet and it has to be hosted by somebody. And Wix is a great hosting service, right? They help inspectors get their website designed and they also charge $16 a month to have that website hosted. And that means it's live on the internet. That's, that's pretty good, $16 a month, that's not bad at all. And a domain, that's basically, if you go to Google domains and domain, do it, if you go here, Google domains and just go domains, Google. If you don't have a domain, this is kind of fun. So let's see. Uh, Tan Krell Home Inspections, because I see Eric uh, is there. So Eric, Tan, Tan Krell, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing your last name correctly, but Tan Krell Home Inspections is available. Tan Krell Home Inspections .com is available for $12 a year from Google Domains. Now you secure that domain and you point it to a website that's designed really well. Anyone else? Does Wix keep the website secure? Yeah, every website um, is secure through Wix and it's SSL secure. And you could tell that by, uh, just use my, my website as an example, there it is, right? So you've got that little indicating uh, symbol in the left corner of the URL and it says it, it's secure and you can 
take a look at the certificate and the certificate is valid and all that good stuff. And not, that's all that's included with a published um, website through Wix. Uh, secure to use credit cards, secure. Oh, uh, good question, David. So um, I, I never accepted credit cards. Uh, I never accepted payments from my clients through my website. I just thought that was dumb, right? I want to get paid after I do the home inspection. So if I'm if I'm getting paid, and it's all all depends on how you operate your business. I like to get paid after I do the home inspection, right? I don't get paid, so I'll, I don't ask anybody for a credit card on my website, right? I I ask people for a credit card in the kitchen after I perform a home inspection. We go over the report, we go over the summary, all the findings. We talk about it. We're shaking hands. We're all good. Home maintenance book, more marketing, all that stuff with the real estate agents, and then. A Stripe card. And you can use Square, let's say. Square, you know those little square, you know, and you get the credit card. Psst. Yeah. And it goes right into my bank account. Bam. Right. And I get paid. I don't want to put like pay here button on my website. That's kind of lame. And that's just me though. What if you want to add pictures for your blog where you can find free images? Yeah, you can just Google free images, you know, free images for my blog and they do um you know i stock photo i like uh shutter stock um there's a bunch of other things you know um or really you're the photographer i mean you can use internet these images but if it was me right my problem is what should i say images i take pictures all day long right like if we're talking about roof slope, like I'll just take a picture of the roof. Like there's my picture, right? Google will probably love that. They don't want you copy pasting everything exactly, right? So like I showed you, I could edit the words. Use internet stuff as a starting point. You can use the image if you want, but I'd replace it with my own image. And you're the, you know how many pictures a typical home inspector takes? Yeah, those pictures should be shared on social media in your blog, in a library, you know, just don't make it, uh, don't reveal anything confidential. Like don't take a picture of the front of the house with the house number and the street sign and, and people's faces and stuff like that. Take a up close picture of something that is uh, related to the topic of the blog. Yeah, use your own pictures. Use your own words, ideally, but start. The whole point of this webinar was, what do I do with a blog? Why should I write a blog? And here, I'll, I'll bring this over. Whoop. Why should I write a blog? Here's the reason why. And where should I get blog information? I showed you that through the course or the articles. Where do I get my pictures? Take your own pictures and put them in your own blog, right? Where do I get a website design company that helps me with all this? Natchee.org slash website, natchee.org slash website. All right, I think that's it. All the questions have been answered. That was a nice, short, sweet uh, webinar. That was fun. I want to thank you, everybody, for showing up for an internet webinar. Go to nachi.org slash webinars for your next free online internet webinar. Everyone stay safe and healthy. Love talking to you guys and gals. All right, everybody. Bye. See you on the next webinar.